Hey kids! Hi kids! We're so excited you're watching Live Kids Online and today we're continuing our series on responsibility. Now here at Live Kids we are saying that responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. So I want you guys and Nancy to say it after me. Say responsibility. Responsibility. Showing you can be trusted. Showing you can be trusted. With what is expected of you. With what is expected of you. And today we have an amazing service planned out for you. That is with worship. Oh, our victory is Jesus. Praise. with games and a Bible story that you don't want to miss, so we want you guys to stick around. But Nancy, how about if we get this thing going? Let's do it. You know what, everybody, please get up on your feet and let's all praise and worship Jesus. Strong refuge, a 
a safe place for me You have always been You will always be My good, good God My confidence and peace Cause I know it is finished And yet I'm written My hope is secure I've got a savior His name is Jesus He's overcome the world This week's memory verse is found in the book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 10. For this challenge, I'm going to tell you the memory verse, then you're going to repeat it after me, and finally, we're going to say it all together. Are you ready? 
Let's do it. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. Now, I'm gonna tell you the memory verse and you're gonna repeat it after me. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. Good job, everyone. Now, let's repeat it all together. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. And once again, that is found in the book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 10. Good job, everyone. Remember, keep practicing and keep memorizing. See you guys next week. What an awesome time of praise and worship, but now it is time for us to discover our big answer. And if you don't know what it is, well, the big answer is the answer to the question that your parents will ask you. What did you learn at church today? And you can simply say this, make the most of what has been given to you. So I want you guys to say it after me. Say, make the most. Make the most. Of what has been given to you. Of what it's been given to you. And you know what, Nancy? I've been thinking of a great thing to do for Manny. You know, the first week, he wasn't here. He wasn't responsible. I didn't treat him the right way. But the following week, I kind of took his Takis. Well, stole his Takis. Yes. And then ate them all. I got a tummy ache and everything. But now I have a great idea that Manny, I think, is going to love. How about if I make like a treasure hunt, like a scavenger hunt for Manny? Wow, that's a great idea. Yeah, and we're talking about make the most of what you've been given of, and I see a lot of props behind me. So I'm gonna grab mm -hmm. something like this, and then I'm gonna put a treasure map in here, and then okay. after that I'm gonna show him one of these and tell him to go all around the glove to find yeah. and search for this treasure. And then of course, finally and most importantly, he is going to find the a treasure. treasure. Yes. Wow, that sounds so exciting. I think that's a great idea. I think so too. So I'm going to get working on that. And okay. uh, how about if you send us to what we have next? All right. All right. Well, go. I'm going to be I'm going to be gone. See ya. All right, kids. While well, Carlos is preparing Manny's treasure hunt, how about if we all sit down and listen to this Bible story together? Hey kids, I'm Victoria. I'm always excited to be here. And once again, I get to share the story with y'all. Remember, we've been talking about responsibility. Now, if you don't remember what it is, but I know you do because it's been a while, right? It's showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Now, it sounds a little heavy, but it's not too bad, especially whenever we have the word teaching us how to be responsible, right? Now, we're gonna be in the book of Matthew chapter 25 today. And we're going to be talking about one of those parables that Jesus t uh, told, another parable. Remember, he loved to tell those stories. He loved to teach through parables. So our story starts with a man. He wanted to go on a journey. He was going to go. And he ended up leaving some money with some servants that he had. Now, with the first servant, he gave five bags of money. And with the second servant, he gave two bags of money. The last one, he only gave one. Now, just keep that in mind. So the boss man, he went on his merry way on his journey and he expected his servants to be responsible with what he gave them. He expected them to grow the money, to multiply it. Now, let's find out what the servants did with that money. I'm going to read uh, verses 16 through 18. The servant who received five bags began to invest the money and earned five more. Five more, that's double. Crazy, right? Now, the servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. Another double, so good. But the servant who received one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. He 
he dug a hole and put the money in the ground. I don't know about you guys, but I know money does not grow on trees. Now, the boss man came home, right? He went up to his servants and he asked them how they did. Let's find out what happened. Now with the first servant, he obviously doubled. So now he doesn't have five bags. He has 10 bags of money. So good. Now the second servant, he doubled it as well. So now he doesn't have two, but four bags of silver. And this is what the servant said in verse, or this is what the boss said in verse 23. Well done, my good and faithful servants. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. You know, that verse actually reminds me of our memory verse for the whole month. And it's found in Luke, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I know if the Bible says it more than one time, I know it's important. So I'm gonna reread that uh, verse 23. Well done, my good and faithful servants. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. And now I will give you many more responsibilities. Now let's celebrate together. Now let's see what happens with the third servant, okay? So remember, he didn't get anything. He just had that one bag, he dug a hole and he just plopped it in there. And then I guess he just dug it out and showed his master the bag, right? Now, the boss wasn't really pleased with that. He, was, he didn't do what, he, what was expected of him. Now you might think, well, he didn't do anything bad. He didn't lose it and he didn't um, spend it on something crazy, you know what I mean? But he didn't do what was expected of him. So that is not called responsibility, right? So just remember that. Now this servant, he was afraid, right? He tried to explain himself, but unfortunately, like I said, he was not responsible. So what the boss man actually ended up doing was sending that servant away and he actually gave that one bag of money to the one with 10 bags of money. Like what, what? But Jesus explains that part as well as he finishes the parable and he's talking. And I'm gonna read verse 29 to y'all. This is what Jesus said. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Wow. Now, our bottom line, our big answer is make the most of what you've been given, right? And two of those servants, they really did make the most of what they were given, right? Now, you may not have bags of silver, bags of gold, or bags of dollar bills, I don't know but there are some things that you can make the most of. These are some things that I thought of. Think about all the gifts and talents that you have. And maybe you think you don't have them, but I know you will find them. We all are discovering them throughout our lives and it's super cool. But I wanted to tell you guys a couple of stories about my siblings, my brothers. One of my brothers, he's so good at art. He's so good at drawing, painting, whatever it is. And he's still growing in that, but it didn't start so well, you know? It started with a little doodle, with a piece of paper, with some pencils, whatever it was. And then he realized he enjoyed it. And from there, he started practicing and just doing it for fun. And now he's a really, really good artist. And it takes some time, but he really made the most of that piece of paper and that pencil that he was given. Now, one of my other brothers, he's a musician. He had a guitar, that's all he knew. He didn't know anything about how to play it, but he knew he had a guitar and he made the most of it. In three months, he literally taught himself how to play so many songs that I could never even think of playing with a guitar, much less like, I don't know, it's pretty complicated actually, but he got the hang of it pretty fast. He put in the work, and now guys, he's literally playing in the band with, in the sanctuary, and he's glorifying God with his talents. He's one of the best guitarists I know. But anyways, those are some things that you can um, make the most of what you've been given. Maybe you're good at math. Maybe you're good at dancing. You can teach people those things. That's making the most of it. Now, something else that I thought of was just like experiences that you've had with your friends or your family. Um, if you guys don't know, me and my family, we go hiking pretty often. I wish we did it even more often, but we are intentional with like making time to do that. 
So hiking is just like walking pretty much, but it's like harder terrain. So you might have to wear some uh, heavier boots and stuff like that. But you know, what I learned from hiking whenever I was younger was that I can enjoy nature the way that it is. Anywhere that I am, you can just go on a walk and just look around and just take it all in. You know, it's really peaceful to just go on a hike and it's good fellowship. You get to talk with the people that are around you and stuff like that. So in that, I get to make the most of that experience because now, today, I get to go hiking with my friends. I get to go hiking with my older cousins and with more family. And we're just taking it all in. We're having a peaceful time together. We're having a great time just talking to each other, even exercising, being healthy and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, even experiences that you have in your home, maybe during the whole quarantine thing that was happening, or maybe in your schools, maybe through online school, all of the experiences that you've been having, you'll be able to learn something from them and use it later in life. Now, one more thing that I wanted to mention was the gospel. Now, at its root, I believe that the gospel is, um, just like long story short, it's Jesus dying on the cross for us and him resurrecting so that we can have the Holy Spirit. And one, that lets us go to heaven and be with Jesus and God forever and ever and ever. But also, it's given us the opportunity to communicate with God right now on earth, which is amazing. Now, like I said, it's amazing. So why would we not share it? Why would we not make the most of it and give it out to as many people as we can? Now, I know it is a little bit harder now because, you know, we're, some of us aren't even going to school. Some of us actually aren't in the building at church right now. But you know what? You can send a little text and maybe ask your mom, hey, why don't you, or is it okay if I send my friend or my mom, my friend's mom, um, the link for Life Kids uh, or Life Kids Online? That'd be a great way to share the gospel, to share a little bit more about Jesus to your friends and such. But anyways, Above all, I wanted to remind you guys, everything we have comes from God. And because of that, we are to make the most of it. We are to be responsible for those things. So repeat after me, make the most of what you've been given. Awesome. Now, I want you guys to close your eyes and bow your head so we can just ask God to show us what we have to be grateful for what we have and to just give us the strength to make the most of that. God, I thank you so much for everything that you have given us. We'll, we will always praise you for just everything that we have because everything good comes from you. God, I pray that you give all of these kids the strength to just make the most of what they got, to be grateful for what they have and utilize those gifts and talents that they have. I ask that you would reveal to them the gifts that they have, the talents that they have, and that they'd be able to grow and multiply those all for your glory. And I thank you that you have a plan for each and every one of them. Thank you for the experiences that you've uh, given us, that you've let us experience. And I thank you because 2021 is going to be a year of making the most of everything. In your name I pray, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for letting me share. I'll see you guys next time. It's game time. Game time, game time. We win and we win and we win and we win and it's game time. Game time, game time. We win and we win and we win and we win. Hi kids, it's game time. My name is Nancy. And my name is Richard. And we're so excited to be here and start this game. Today right. we have the game called Knockout. Knockout? Well, yeah. We're gonna be boxing or? Uh, I'm not, not really. We ready. We ready. <laughs> we're gonna use a balloon, we're gonna okay. inflate it, and then we're gonna use the air inside the balloon to knock down all the cups. Mm. The one that knocks them down, all of them, first is the, okay. first is the winner. So we so, have to knock it all down. All down. Completely out. Completely out of the table. Okay. That's the and we also have a punishment today. Oh, what is yes. that? Yes. So we're gonna have. I don't know, oops, have it right here. We have baby food. Oh. I know, and we have, if you can see this color right here, yeah. it's because it's broccoli with chicken and peas.
That doesn't sound good at all. Yeah. Uh, I hope so we're gonna then. we're gonna pour it in a plate, and then we're gonna try to eat it with our mouths. Now use no your spoons? hands. No spoon. No spoon or nothing. Our mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so I better win this game, guys. Okay. We don't like baby food. But are you ready, Richard? I'm ready. I'm ready. Guys, okay. come on, boys. I need I need your courage, man. Girls, right? I got okay. this. All right. Ready? Yeah. Let's count to three. So right. everyone, put your three fingers up in the air and let's count. Three, two, one. Same tag. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So, all right. Nancy, Ooh. she won. Girls, we won. Yes, yes. Ouch. Okay. Sorry, Richard. Uh, it's okay. I hope you uh, like baby food. I, I hope I do too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh, man. Don't worry. I'm going to prepare it and mix it for you okay. and make it all look pretty. Can add some seasoning. Or yep. something. Uh, well. Yeah. Let's see. Let's open it. Ooh, I don't even know how to open this. Nancy, oh. why are you? Okay, right. let's pour it. Ooh, Ooh, look at this. Guys, it smells delicious. No, not from where I'm standing. <laughs> All right, Richard, you know, I think we need a little, no, I think we need a little bit more. You're squeezing too much. No. Let's see, let's see. Oh, you just have to do this. Oh, this one has a different color. Okay. All right. There we go. Let me, let me move this out of the way. I'm, I'm kind of full though. All right, Richard, you have to put your hands <laughs> back and you use your mouth only. And you know what? You can eat only half of it. How about like the corner? Of no, yeah, no, okay. let's do right. half. Because I know it's a lie. You can okay. do this. Ready? <sighs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. okay, let's count. Let's count. Three, all right, all right. two, one, go. <laughs> Come on, Richard. <laughs> mm, it's, it looks delicious. It smells really good. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, okay. I good? think he's liking it. Mm, good bad. job. Let me see, let me see. A little bit more on that mm. corner over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. It's on my nose. <laughs> I think that was the whole point. To get it all in your face, Richard. Come on. <laughs> all right, let me see. I think. All right, good job, Richard. You almost done. Look, guys. He actually like it. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, here are some Thank baby you. wipes. And girls, we won this time. So how about if we all stand up and celebrate together? Girls rule, girls rule. Job, girls, Richard, how was it? It, it was okay, <laughs> you know, not my favorite, but you know, I had right. to do what I had to do. Well, we're yeah. so excited, and I hope you yeah. guys have fun and see you next week. Good job, guys. Bye.
is an amazing Bible story. Mm. Today we learn a lot of things and how we can make the most out of the things mm. that we've been given. And also, mm. this is a great example to remember our Bible verse. When you're trusting in a little bit, then you can be trusted in a lot more. So I hope you guys mm. put in practice mm. everything that we learned today. And remember, wait, Carlos, no, Carlos, yeah. Are you paying attention to what yeah, we Yeah, 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 I was paying Did you know that Cuba was this small? <laughs> yes, it was like I knew. like really, really small. So I was thinking to put a map and then okay. give it to Manny and then he will travel oh. all the way to Cuba, but this is too small. He's not gonna fit in here. No. He's a monkey and uh, well, Cuba's just really small. He's not gonna fit in it. Mm -hmm. um, so how do but I do this? Listen, Carlos, I know that you yeah. wanna get everything ready for Manny. Yeah. But right now, uh -huh. we still have to. Oh, I got to it! I got it! I have an idea! Give me just a second. I'll be right back! Okay. All right, he has a new idea. I got Let's it! See what I got it, Nancy! I know how to solve the problem. Wow. Um, the last one that I showed you, it was small, so now Cuba is big. It's big. I can so see it. So now Manny will be able to fit in this map and find <laughs> the treasure. Yes, you're right. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna continue working with this okay. and I'll just leave you to what you were doing. Uh, yeah, pay attention. Uh, see y'all, bye. All right, bye Carlos. Okay, while well, Carlos is getting everything ready for Manny's treasure hunt, how about if we'll stand up in our feet and let's praise Jesus.
Jesus' is his name, and I'm all about him. I live to bring him praise. He is the way and the truth and the life. God is three and one, reigning undefeated. Our God is overcome. Jesus. Closer than a brother, he will never leave God is my provider, he is all I need He is God Almighty, he will never change We cry holy, holy, name above all names Most high, most high, most high Let me tell you about him King of kings, Lord of lords amazing service we just had with all the dancing all the games and all the praises we love to spend time with you guys and we got just one more thing that we want to tell you and that is we'll see you guys next week 